Hello everyone! The last video was fun and all, but I was mostly looking for this one. I always wanted to do videos about stories of the past, but not everyone may know, because I love history in general. But I most specifically love this time period and East Asian history too. So, in today's video, we'll be looking at the murder of Queen Mi, the last queen of Korea. But before looking at her murder, let's see an incredible and one of a kind Queen Min was. Queen Min was born on October 19, 1851. She grew up as an orphan. Her parents died when she just reached the age of eight. As members of the noble Hyo Heung Min clan, her family was well connected to the royal family which led our young Min to marry the King Gojong of the Joseon dynasty, the dynasty in place at the time in the Korean Peninsula, well before it was divided in two. The queen is said to have been chosen by the regent, the king's father, because she did not have the strong family support that could threaten the ascendancy of his own political lives. Old one was dead. She was 16 years old and her husband 15 when they married. Queen Min had no interest in gossiping, tea parties, fashion. Instead, she read wisely about history, politics, science, philosophy, and religion, giving herself the kind of education ordinarily reserved for men, which brought a lot of concerns to her father-in-law, the regent, who quickly felt a lot of hatred towards her, as he is rumored to have poisoned her first child a few days after his birth but also to have been plotting for her murder several times. However, he is not the one to blame for her actual murder. At least that really. Let's see what happens. To find the culprit for her murder, we must look beyond the East Sea, beyond the Sea of Japan. It has long been known that the Japanese wanted to invade and annex Korea, but it is in 1874 that they really started to plot the renection of the country. Although Queen Min urged her husband, the king, to reject the Japanese several trade proposals, the king decided to sign a trade treaty with Japan in order to avoid further trouble in the future. A few years later, the queen's growing power and influence led her to face a rebellion, led by her father-in-law, the regent. Him again. In 1882, threatened by reforms, a real to reorganize and modernize Korea's military, and by the opening of Korea to foreign powers searching for new allies in case of a Japanese invasion, the regent temporarily ousted King Gojong, his son, and Queen Min out of the royal palace, returning to power. Dozens of the queen's relatives and allies were executed, but the queen was not defeated, as she and her husband asked China their long-time ally for help. A few weeks later, a thousands of Chinese soldiers marched into Seoul and arrested the regent. She returned to her throne. Two years later, 1894, she had to face another rebellion, this time from the people, as they rose up against the government due to crushing tax burdens imposed upon them. The queen once again asked China for help. However, in response, Japan used this and his opportunity to send even more soldiers to Korea, using this as an excuse to protect its own citizens uh, stationed in the country. Although the rebellion was over within a week, Japan and China did not withdraw their forces, as the two power troops stared one another down, despite the Korean royals called for both sides to win. On July 1894, Japanese troops marched into Seoul and captured King Gojong and Queen Min. On August 1st, China and Japan declared war on one another, fighting for control of Korea. Although the Chinese had three times more soldiers than the Japanese, their army was way too weak to win this war, and the modern Meiji army, the Japanese army, quickly crushed the Chinese forces. On April 1895, a few months before her death, China signed the humiliating Treaty of Chimoseki, which forced her to not come and protect Korea in the future. After that, Japan wrote a new constitution for Korea, stopped its parliament with pro-Japanese Koreans, 
and a large number of Japanese troops remained stationed indefinitely in the country. Desperate for an ally, Queen Ming turned to the other emerging power in the far east, Russia. However, Japan's official in Seoul, well aware of Queen Ming's real appeals to Russia, countered by approaching her old nemesis, her father-in-law, the rich. Although he hated the Japanese, he hated her even more and agreed to help them get rid of her once and for all. In the fall of 1895, Japanese ambassador to Korea, Murakoro, formulated a plan to assassinate Queen Mi, a plan that he named Operation Fox Hand. Early in the morning of October 8, 1895, a group of 50 Japanese assassins launched their assault on Kyokubokun Royal Palace. They seized King Gojong, but did not harm him. Then, they attacked the Queen's concert sleeping quarters, dragging her out along four of her attendants. The assassins questioned the women to make sure that they had, indeed, Queen Mi. Then, slashed them with swords before stripping and raping them. The Japanese displayed the Queen's dead body to several other foreigners in the area, including the Russians, to make sure they knew their ally was dead. Then, they carried her body to the forest outside the palace walls. There, the assassins burned the queen body, scattering her ashes. There it was. The queen was dead. Queen Mi, the last queen of Korea, was murdered by Japanese assassins. Following the assassination, King Gojong and the crown prince, without refusion to Russian legislation in Seoul, with the Russian support, they regained the palace, but their power was short-lived in the face of a more aggressive than ever Japan. In 1897, two years after her death, the King Gojong ordered a careful search of the forest where his queen's body has been burned, which turned up a single finger bone. He organized an elaborate funeral for this relic of his wife. After that, the queen received the posthumous title of Empress Yongsong. In the following years, Japan will defeat Russia in the Russo-Japanese War of 1904-1905 and formally annexed the Korean Peninsula in 1910. Korea would remain under Japanese control until the Japanese defeat in World War II in 1945. That was it for this week's video. Um, thank you for watching it and I uh, hope you liked it. If you did, you can subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more of these stories, you can tell me in the comments and I will give you more of these stories. Uh, don't forget to click on the notification bell if you want to, if you don't want to miss them. Have a nice day and I hope you enjoyed this video.